I am so happy to see all these faces this week. Um, we're going to do something new. I finally think I figured out how to do a round of audio. So that's going to be one of our rounds, a little name that tune. And, uh, and then we got a, you know, a bunch of other fun stuff. We got some desserts. So I basically couldn't be more excited about the way this week is, unless it doesn't work. <laughs> it is what it is. All right. Is everybody ready? You have your like thinking caps on, your outside of the box trivia minds wide open. Okay. All right. We're going to hit it then. Okay. It's that one place, you know, the one with that logo. So these are all logos. There are 15 because I think it'll probably go pretty quickly. So let's get started. You're not sharing. Nice and warm up, always. You're not sharing. I'm not? No. Oh no, I forgot. Okay. I'm gonna go back and talk to you guys again. Are you ready for real though? Like, are you sure? I'm gonna go ahead and share. Okay. I love that I could just see Shannon's face and how unexcited it was. Um, that's a pleasure. All right. Trivia Thursday on Thursday, coming at you for real this time. Logos. And you know, these, I'm not very good at this. So even though to me, some of these are obvious, I also know all the answers, so it's fine. All right. Nice little warm up here. Always, always a nice warm up. Walmart. Yeah, that was correct. Okay, next. This little baby's a snack. You just wanted to say that. I did. Will Debbie. Yeah, she's my queen. All right, this logo's a real gas. Shell. Yes. 80s folks remember this one. It was on all my shirts. It's not Izod, is it? No, but I was willing to accept that because it's very close to the Izod one. Anybody else got another one? The bottom. Bach had one of these shirts on on a call the other day, and I can't remember what it is now. Okay. Well, I will give Izod to whoever answered that. It's technically Lacoste. The other, the lesser known brand. Is there a correlation with this logo? It feels like no. There's nothing in this logo that suggests what this brand is, although they are a very big umbrella over a lot of products that we don't necessarily think of. Nestle? Yeah. Nestle. I've never seen that before. Fremont is just ripping it up. You have seen it before. It's just so subtle that it's... I mean, I believe you, but I don't believe you. Yeah. I did a report on Nestle in college and... Uh, that was the first time I came to know this logo and it still baffles me to this day. Okay, this should just take a second. Hey, yo. It's taking longer than a second. Yeah. The Flash? Yep, Flash Gordon. Woo! This logo was probably designed to make you feel fresh and clean. Another big umbrella. Um, but that was a little hint. Just one hint. I mean, I know it. So someone else. It's not ivory, but I think ivory's in the the family, right? Yes, I believe they are. And possibly also Dove. I just assume everyone's in this family. Nobody? The one is a clue. 
Procter and another, Gamble. Another uh, prefix that means one. Like, for example, this prefix on a wheeled transportation device is uh, very difficult to, to steer because there's only one. That is the beginning of it, Fremont. Well, that is the one-wheeled vehicle. Now they're just messing with us. Okay, it's Unilever. Yeah, a lot of soap. Okay, not many people are taking advantage of this company steals right now. And there are some good ones. I saw a flight to Greece round trip was like uh, $1,200 instead of like seven grand. So I just basically gave you the industry. Now all you have to do is come up with the company. Delta? Yes, yes. I like their snacks. All right. Aw, perfect logo for this organization's mission. WWF is in World Wildlife, yes. not World Wrestling. World Wrestling Federation. Yeah. And now the WWE yeah. because of this. World Wildlife. Fresh huh. as the morning. Mountain Dew. Yeah. Township, I making it on the board. Lived on Mountain Dew in my 20s. I really did. I don't, I don't regret it. Now that's quality. Aww. Del Monte. Yeah. Very good. Okay, can you tell me how to get to this answer? Sesame Street. <laughs> They're so cute. Absolute royalty. Yeah. Bless her. Dairy Queen. Heck Township yeah. is is on Burned it. Up. What? What? Oh wait. Oh. Wait. Oh, oh, Fremont beat them though. Sorry, oh. Township. You were so close. Well, I like a challenge, and I hope you do too. I feel like they just threw it down, and you got to an answer. Yeah. Okay. okay, the standard of durability, except Levi. Township yes. already got it. Boom. Oh, and that was it. So where <laughs> are we after one round? After one round, Fremont has nine. Township has three. Strong showing toward the end. And Chestnut yep. Hill has one. Woo! Okay. Round two. This is, uh, you know, my favorite of all categories ever. And it's just desserts. That's it. And it's, it's just desserts, but it's also just desserts. So get your dessert hat, your little chef's hat on, and let's do this. All of the following contain egg yolks except A, lemon curd, B, pudding, C, mousse, and D, custard. Mousse. Yes, that is correct. I would I guess pudding. Add. All of these are delicious. Who remembers this pie that was so popular it inspired a song? Just look at that deliciousness. Mince meat? No, but it looks like it. it sure does. It's a, an old fashioned pie. Weird that raisin? No, raisin pie is really good. I don't care what my husband thinks, it's delicious. Just means more pie for you, which is yeah. always the case anyway. Yeah, it really is. Apple. No, no. Jason Palmer, I thought you were going to dominate this week and right off the bat. Is it shoe fly? Do it is shoe that. fly. It is a shoe oh. fly pie. Oh, who got that? The, uh, Solon. Oh, Solon. <laughs> Yay. I, it was really helpful. It's not that easy to identify by sight, um, but yeah, it is. Just look at it. I really wanted to make several of these desserts after seeing, after researching this round. Okay, this traditionally Spanish custard dessert is topped with caramel sauce. Fun. 
Yeah. So good. So good. It's a sad state of affairs that this dessert is rarely spotted on menus anymore. It's a work of art and it's a dessert. Baked Alaska. Yes. Tube-shaped shells of double or dough, lightly fried and filled with sweet, creamy filling. What is it? Eclairs? No. Cannoli. Uh, it's cannoli. It's C. Yes, it oh, is. That was a toss-up. I don't even trust that got it at the is, same but time. It's not the answer, so it doesn't matter. Okay. I'd adopt this dish as my, I can't, what am I? Whatever. If you Forever, if you're in a hot second, it's my it's one of my favorite. Anna's Foster. Yes, love it so much. When referring to dessert dishes like pie, a la mode means a special of the day. B served warm. C served with ice cream. D served C. With cream. What? You can finish it, but it's C. Yeah, it really. Cassie is. beat Jason. I went a shockingly long uh, number of years because I didn't want to ask what this meant because I didn't want anybody to make fun of me. So I think I was a very young adult when I figured it out. So what matters as you got that. there, you know? This mostly forgotten cake should definitely be served in November. Bunt. It is a bunt cake, but it's also known as something else. Sponge? Like November. Like what do we do in November other than Thanksgiving and Veterans Day? Pumpkin spice bun cake? <gasps> no, it's really good. I would love to Fremont eat Fremont says voting, and I love it. It's very close. So what day specifically? Would election that be cake? Yes, election cake. No, ah. no. Look at that. That's nonsense. I know. Never mind. I think they're just looking stuff up at this point. Like, they know. Let's talk about flambés. So, is a flambé cooking it over low heat, adding alcohol to the pan and lighting a fire, covering it with sugar and caramelizing it with a kitchen torch? Um, what? B. Yes. Great. Yes. Though her color counterpart is a song title, I prefer this little girl in my kitchen. Cherry? Nope. She's Pie. known as it's like a little nickname dessert. Peach, cobbler, apple crisp. No. And I, like I know this one. I'm really excited a song, about it. A uh, little rock song. I think it was came out in the 70s. With the same lady's name, but a different shade in front of it. That's me singing. All right. Blondie. Black Betty. What? Black Betty. That's the song. Oh, that's such a good song. Kat Kern is making a name for herself. Also, Brown Betty. Yes, Brown Betty. Way to go. Giving both of them a point. Yeah, that's good. We needed each other for this. All right. We have completed round two, regrettably, because I could have stayed there forever. So how are we doing? Going in to round three, Fremont is sitting pretty at 14. Nice. Township is still at three. Cat came out of nowhere and is tied with Township at three. Solon and Chestnut are at two. Cassie's at one. Jason is still at zero. Oh, man. Sorry, Jason. All right. We're going to do it now. I, did I test this first with myself? Yes. Did I test it with other people? No. So let's just see what happens. That's, I like to play it fast and loose. All right, round three, name that tune. Moment of silence. Okay, sorry in advance, meatheads. Boy, the way Glenn Miller played. Songs in the hit parade. 
Guys like us, we had it Those were the days from Archie Bunker. Yeah. Thank you for putting us out of our misery. That was that <laughs> stolen. It was really rough. <laughs> it worked though. Yay. It did. It was so fancy. <laughs> oh no, stop. Okay. All right. Strike your best. Ladies, strike your best action pose. And here we go. Once upon a time, there were three little girls who went to the police academy. Charlie's Angels. Yes. Very good. We want to get there. Okay. Caller, go ahead. Dragnet. Jessica. Emergency? No. I saw somebody waving her hand in the back of, I can't, I don't know. Who oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, we, yeah. we got a hand waver. Yeah. Kayla, can you unmute? I am too well. It says Valparaiso. Yes. Okay. Uh, that sounded like Ian of uh, uh, chips. Oh no! I thought I thought you started to say it, but it's not chips. Ah. It's it's a lesser known. I didn't know it, um, which is why I threw it in here. It wasn't emergency. Yes, it was. Oh, yeah, oh, emergency. Okay. Oh, got it. Fremont got it. Of course. <laughs> got to stop that. Okay, grab your best gal pal for this one. <gasps> Come on. Oh, it's not making any sound. One, two, three. Oh, Laverne and Shirley. Yeah. Sorry, I just that's what it would be. I love that show so, so much. And it's gonna start again, stop. Okay, don't worry guys, I didn't forget you. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be Wait Jason's for. moment. Not Jason's moment. Not Three's Company, but that hint told me what it was. Does that help anybody if I know now? Jen, I can't tell if you're frozen or if you're just holding that face. Oh, there you are. Okay, sorry. Can you hear me? Oh, I just got a pop up that my connection is unstable. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You froze for a second. Yeah. It was a great face, though. Sure. I think Valpo knows. Is it is it room two twenty two? No, no, it's not. Uh, it's it's very early Tom Hanks. Anybody else? Anybody else? Odd couple. Mm -mm. Is it bosom buddies? It is bosom buddies. I love this show. I had to put it in. I just love it. Watched it with my dad. Mm -hmm. All right. No description necessary. So this one's nice and easy. <gasps> Mash. Yeah. Bonus. Can anyone name what that song is called? Because oh. it's the only one where I know the actual name of the song, and I'm really proud of myself. Buddy? Anybody? Nope. Just... 
It's okay. My knowledge is very useful in no situations. Well, I put that one in there for you. It is a dark title. That is correct. Fremont, which makes me think you sort of know. All right. This quietly revolutionary show was named after its star. Hello? Valpo knows. Let me unmute Valpo. All right. Mary Tyler Moore? Nope. Nope. I that's that's who I wanted to say too. And I even forgot for a second which one this was and was like, was that? And then I remembered. There were a couple Rhoda. of versions. A couple Rhoda? of versions of this show. Um, both with the star's name in it in some fashion. Um, Rhoda? The second version had some brothers. One was named Larry, and he had his brother Daryl, oh. and he had his other brother Daryl too. Oh, um, I know. <laughs> what was it, Pepe and Twin? Oh, my husband just got it. Oh, oh. Chestnut, Bob Newhart show. Yes, the Bob Newhart show. Also, put Josh down for one. Want. That's a good okay. one. Okay. He didn't help write it, did he? Nope. nope. Okay. This one was all me. Oh, wow. I know. I know. All right. It's a cliche, but it's also a zany sitcom. Come and knock on our door. The Bruce Company. Yes. I watched this and you finally had your moment. All right, don't sweat it. This one's pretty easy. Welcome back, Hatter. Yep. All right, well, that's the last one. So good night, all. Any second. Oh, oh, well, I got it. Walters, the Waltons. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> All right. How are we doing after three? We have got Fremont at 18. Mm -hmm. uh, Solon SLD is sneaking up at five. Nice. It's not... Township and Cat are tied at three. We've got a smattering of ones. Okay. So this one is jingles. Um, it's not audio. Uh, we, I have some of the lyrics down and you guess or finish or fill in the blank. And here we go. Two points on this one. Fill in the blank. Double your pleasure. Blank. Double your fun. Uh huh. And then name the product. Devil Mint Gum. Yes. Oh, correct. Devil Mint Gum. Yes. All right. Another two pointer. Fill in the blank when you care enough to send. Devil Mint Gum. Very best. The very best. Yep. Oh, oh, who was first? I think there was the quiet single voice. Might be. Solon, was that you? I said it, but I don't know if I was first. <laughs> yeah, I, I think she was. I think she that was the first voice I heard. Okay. And the company is Hallmark. Yes, Hallmark. Cassie was on that. <laughs> the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Woo! That was. I think that Cassie. was Valvo. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Woohoo! All right, another two pointer. Fill in the blanks. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a. What a relief it is. Yep. And it is. <laughs> oh, what a relief it is. Oh, yeah. 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 
All right, kiss a little longer, stay close a little longer, blank a little longer, longer with big red. Hold hands, mm -hmm. make out, or hold tight. Hold, hold tight. hands. Hold tight is the C. answer. Uh. When it says blank, blank, blank on the label, label, label. Libby, Libby, Libby. On the label, yeah. label, label. You will like it, like it. <laughs> That's it. Juicy fruit's gonna move you. It's got a taste that blank right through you. Juicy fruit gonna fruity move you. It's got a taste that juicy fruit is gonna move you. It's got a taste that runs, goes. No, nope. nope. I mean, good. It's the right idea. Ah, uh, shoots. Gonna move you. It's, it's flows. Taste that. Moves right through you? Yeah. Moves is correct. Woo! That's right. All right. This product will forever be known as the breakfast of champions. Wheaties! Kevin. Wheaties. 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 KFC is blank. And you're looking good. Yeah. That's right. Chicken Killing it. Killing it. Finger licking. Oh. <laughs> Both products are delicious, but sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> That's right. I'm enjoying mounds. So good. All right. That was quite a round. What are, <laughs> what are we at now? Okay. okay. Fremont is still in the lead with 19. Valpo is coming right up on them with nine. Ah, we still have 10 to go. <laughs> Solon <laughs> is at seven, and those are our current top three. Cat is at five. All right, well, we are moving real fast. So we're already on our last round. Round five only has five questions. So you guys are crushed this week. All right, this is Summer Olympics, um, our postponed. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, I've learned a lot about the Summer Olympics when I researched this, but I also knew that most of the stuff I read was going to be impossible for anybody to know. So I tried to strike a nice balance between interesting facts and facts you might remember or have heard or read about. So here we go. The 1900 Summer Olympics had the only instance of a mother and daughter competing together. What was the sport? Ice skating? No. And I, I want to challenge you guys to read up on the 1900 Summer Olympics because there are so many fascinating facts about that year. Uh, tennis? Want, what? Nope. Swimming? Nope. Triathlon. Oh. Track? No. <laughs> That's me. Golf. Golf. Yeah. It is golf. Oh, wow. Oh, golf. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, who's Googling? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was an, a notable year for another reason. An ill teammate on the Sweden-Denmark squad of this competition well, fell ill, obviously. And then a journalist was recruited to take his place. And then they won gold. So imagine thinking that you're just going to go write a story about the Olympics. And then it's a scoop of the century because you all of a sudden are a gold medal winner. What? Also, this is going to be very hard. But I thought it was so interesting. I had to put it in. Was it a pole vaulter? It was not. Curling. Also, you might have not even known this was in the Olympics. I didn't. Knitting. No one said that. That was just me. It's a, it's a sport, I say that loosely, in which uh, traction is very important, as well as strength. Race car driving? No. Was it weightlifting? Weightlifting. Nope. Okay. I'm going to move on. Okay. We'll We'll talk about that at the end. 
All right, what was the traditional style of dress for athletes at the ancient Olympics? Togas? Nope. Kulats. <laughs> no, nope. naked. Yes, naked. It's the ancient naked Olympics. No wind resistance that way. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> slow you down. Which athlete has won the most gold medals? A. Carl Lewis. B. Mark Spitz. C. Michael Phelps. Michael oh, Phelps. Michael. Yep. Yep. Michael Woo-hoo. Phelps. Legend. Phelps. Hey. Why did Bobby Pierce slow down during his rowing race at the 1928 Amsterdam Olympics? To wave to a fellow competitor's wife and undoubtedly cause a fight. To let a family of ducks pass by. He dropped an oar or his glasses fell off. He dropped an B. oar. Nope. What, what'd you say, Shannon? B? Yes. To let a family of ducks pass I by. It's ever happened. He still won. It's because. All right. So now we're going to get into a little uh, education. So it, it was won by Margaret Abbott and her mother, who's a novelist, finished joint seventh. I just thought that was so cool. And then it was Tug of War. Wow. Tug of War was the the journalist who fit in. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing. I mean, I knew it was a thing. I didn't know it was an Olympic thing. All right. And then here's a little fun fact. Uh, The words gymnastics or gymnasium come from the Greek word gymnos, which means lightly clad or naked. Fun fact, huh? Funny is the fact. Explains how gymnasts dress. Yeah. Clad. All right. There are multiple answers for this. There are at least 13 national holidays today, April 30th. Name one of them. Christmas. <laughs> Fourth of July. <laughs> Only in our hearts. Yep. Only in our hearts. May Day Eve. <laughs> May Eve should be a thing. Decoration Day. Nope. It's a really good idea. Three days decoration day when you believe in yourself. National holiday. Memorial day. Nope. These are a lot of lesser known uh, holidays. And, And it's all holidays on April 30th. Oh, okay. Origami day. No. Bhutan day. What? Grandparents day. Might be. I'm trying to see where the others are. Okay, I'll give you a couple more seconds. Did somebody? What did somebody say? Grandparents day. Really close, really close to Bhutan as far as the a word sound. Is one of these Liberation Day? Is that close? Not Origami Day. Okay, so Liberation. I know. I didn't see Liberation, but I'm not saying it wasn't. Uh, all right, I'm gonna name. I'm gonna name them off. Okay. Yes. All right. Buddha Day, Bugs yeah. Bunny Day, Dia de los Niños. Dia de los Niños. Yeah. Yeah. I was at Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Wrong day. <laughs> Honesty Day, International Jazz Day. National Adopt a Shelter Pet Day, Shannon. Can't believe you didn't know that. Also, Shannon, National Animal Advocacy Day. I did post earlier about Animal or Adopt a Shelter Pet Day. It's 
So you knew. Okay. Uh, National Bubble Tea Day, the drink that at best we've had once. Uh, National Military Brass Day. National Raisin Day. Yeah. Oh, I'm in your pocket day. <laughs> And while Pergies at night, there's one more, but it's it seems like it's very inappropriate. It, yeah, I wouldn't. I had a point that feels weird. Yeah. So now you know that there is a whole bunch of reasons to celebrate today. In addition to you know, it's just another day. So yeah. that's. Look what I did, though. Look what I did, though. You have gotten so advanced. Oh, oh, oh I already <laughs> wrote them all down. I totally <laughs> forgot. Oops. Okay, so there they all are. Sorry, I can't get enough of that. All right. Now, tomorrow is May, so I expect you all to do a Maypole dance wherever you are, even if the Maypole is imaginary, and we'll think of each other. That was really nice. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I that was very, it. very educational. <laughs> so much. Um, so next week I have uh, Holdover's um, Cartoons was one that you guys suggested. Um, and then I, you know, I'm probably going to go with another type of sports. Um, and then what else do you think? Um, Fremont wants at least one week of just movie and TVs, TV shows again. Yay. Well, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to be okay with that. Literature. What if we could do the sport one? Uh, it was suggested that it's football. What yeah. Did football movie? Yes. I almost did it because football and Olympics was down and I was going to have my husband do football because he loves it and I don't. Uh, but then I started reading about the 1900 Olympics and I couldn't get it out of my head. So I had to make it Olympics. All right. All right. What about doing like an international um, holiday thing? Because I get a lot of people only because I'm Hispanic and a lot of people don't know the difference between um, the 5th of May or Cinco de Mayo and Mexican Independence Day, September 16th. And they okay. get it wrong all the time. But then there's like uh, St. Patty's Day, there's, um, what, what else? Um, Ooh, commercials. Yeah. Commercials, all right. Okay, yes. So I like all of that. Travel. What? Civil War or travel? Oh, yeah. I like that too. I'm excited about cartoons. Yeah. Okay.